Yeah. Got to be honest with you, I was their engineer for about three years. So <laughs> believe me, a uh, great band, really, really is. And John Stevens is a very good friend of mine as well. 22 after 11 o'clock, it is 27 degrees downtown. So much for the weatherman, it's 24 degrees. Believe me, I knew we were going to do better. I said 30 degrees, we got there. So, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Now, uh, let me do this. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy. Whoa. Yeah, I'm Ben Roy Morgan saying you can hear me in Galaxy 107 <laughs> FM. Don't move your dial. Well, would you believe that? <laughs> Kicked off all yes, by sir. itself. Very eager to get underway, it is. Uh, of course, today we're being joined, and, and I've got to thank everybody that's uh, joining us this morning. We're being joined again by a good, good friend and uh, ordained. Oh, we're not getting there. And, and our ordained bishop as well. Would you believe? We still uh, have this body. Uh, <laughs> so uh, believe me, it is absolutely <laughs> a pleasure to be able to have Denroy Morgan back again this morning. And, and folks, I've got to let you know. Today we're talking about the Morgan Heritage. Now this is significant. These guys are two-time Grammy Award winners. They really, really are. And we couldn't have got anybody better than the man himself that put the Morgan Heritage in Morgan Heritage, Denroy Morgan, the man himself. Uh, of course, Ra Raz Denroy Morgan is, uh, well, as I was saying, he's an ordained bishop. Yeah, it, Personally, I call him my sinister minister, I really do. So it is such a pleasure to have you. By the way, Denroy, just before we get this underway, yes. I read a news clip about you being arrested for a bootload of marijuana. Now, bro, you sound like me. <laughs> <laughs> that, would be, that would be my luck as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. That was a few years ago. Yeah, that was 2011. <laughs> you got a sense of humour, my friend. That's funny. Yeah, that was um, magical. It's like, uh, you know, after my case was over, shortly after legislation changed in New York, where the herb become legal, don't you hate that? Uh, you always know that you're ahead of the game. It's just that the law is a little bit behind. <laughs> yeah. The bigger boys want to control the financial benefit of it. Of course. And they have to position themselves and then take control. Yeah, absolutely. Of, of course. Um, it's always going to be that way. Yes. Money is the... Well, it's the root of all evil, let's be honest, my friend, it is. Um, yes. But we've always known the benefits of this particular herb. We, we really have. Uh, not only, yes, we have. Not only speaking as a Kiwi and a New Zealander that, uh, well, you know, I have partaken in my past, but look at Denroy. He's a true Jamaican and he knows the herb and the benefits of this. Believe me, you can't go wrong. You really, really can't. Um, and of course, governments these days need to get wise. They really do. They're yeah. starting to. They're starting to. There's some governments around the world that are picking up on it right now. But you're right, my friend. It's all about how they can position themselves to make the, mess, uh, the best dollar out of it. Yeah, for a long time, they lied to the people and uh, and it's a conspiracy with all the governments of the world to lie to the people and let them feel like the herb marijuana was a bad herb there was nothing bad about the herb now they're finding so many different use medicinally from that herb that they penalize and prosecute us for over the years the rastaman has suffered more than any other sect of people for the advocating for it, the preservation of it, and the use of it over the years. Bro, I am absolutely right there with you. I really, really am. And, uh, well, you know something? The medicinal benefits of this is surpassing anything, anything that these pharmaceutical companies can actually... I mean, you can't beat 
nature. You really can't. Um, so, well, we've still got about a minute, minute and a half to go. So, uh, if you're going to watch this a little later on over there on YouTube, uh, don't forget, yes, do the sub thumb bell thing, you know, because, well, bell notifications for when we have important people like our bishop, Raz Denroy Morgan, talking about the Morgan heritage. This is brilliant. It really is. Oh, by the way, um, last interview that we did, Denroy, you're familiar with Martin from um, Uganda, aren't you? Mm -hmm. uh, Marvin 42. No, yeah, Marvin, yeah, from uh, Uganda. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, yeah. do you know, he watched that interview we did 20 times. Wow. <laughs> well done. That's brilliant. I don't know anybody that's watched our videos 20 times, so Marvin, I've got to give you props for that. See oh, we love Yeah, that. he's on top. He's on top of everything we do. All the collaboration that I have done and I've been doing with the African artists, Marvin has been the middleman in all of it. Brilliant, brilliant. Let's go live, my bro. <laughs> You know something? It's supposed to do this. <laughs> That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, 29 minutes after 11 o'clock. Uh, that song just jumped on in there, it uh, kicked itself off, believe me, and uh, couldn't think of a better way to start the day. Then being joined by our resident minister, yes, Denroy Morgan. Yes, he's a bishop, he is. Uh, Denroy, how would you like to lead us in a prayer uh, to bless this interview? I would like to reach out to the energy of our ancestors and the almighty creator of the universe who direct all energy of life. Say, so behold how sweet and how pleasant it is for us to dwell together in unity. It's like the precious ointment upon the head that went down to the beard, even here and beard that went down to the skirt of his garment. It's like the dew of firmament that ascended upon Mount Zion, where the Lord God of Israel commanded the blessings, even life forevermore. Yahweh, the Lord Elohim, the ancient God of Ethiopia, the mighty God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, the almighty creator of the universe, the giver and the preserver of life. We commit this interview in your hands, O Yahweh. As we speak to the people globally, we want to let each and every one know that there is a Holy Spirit within and round and about them needs to be activated by something they will do or something they would say. We are saying we are asking for guidance and healing for our people universally at this time. Let this interview with this radio station be accepted in thy sight, O mighty Jah, our strength and our redeemer who liveth and reigneth forever. Aman and Aman, Sila. Amen. And uh, Denroy, welcome back, my friend. It's nice to have you back. Yes, sir. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Uh, got to say hi to Shares Void as well, who's joining us this morning. Uh, uh, Wayne is joining us as well, uh, and absolute pleasure to be able to bring Denroy Morgan to you. Today we're talking about the Morgan heritage. Couldn't get any better than the man that created the, De uh, the Morgan heritage right from the start. Uh, unfortunately, we were supposed to be speaking to Peter as well, coming out of Florida, but unfortunately something's come up there. We haven't been able to contact him, but we give you love and bless it on you my friend looking forward to catching up with you in the future maybe as well let me tell you a little bit about the morgan heritage this is a two-time grammy award-winning band literally now uh denroy you 
took this band to Jamaica and uh, you got signed up by um, a, a rather yeah, large... MC. My MCA Records. Yeah, uh, which, which is a big deal. Now, tell me about this. How did uh, MCA find the uh, Morgan Heritage Band? Well, it was in 1992 that I took my children to Jamaica to be presented to Jamaica as a reggae band and a band that could back their father as I was doing R&B and funk. So they were able to back me and back their younger brothers, the Dreads, and present themselves good enough to give us a deal with MCA Records 20 minutes or less after the performance at Reggae Sunsplash in Montego Bay. That was historical. We were the only group except for Lucky Dube who has performed twice on Reggae Sunsplash for one season. We perform on the International Beach Party Night and we perform on the International Stage Show Night. And that was the beginning of Morgan Heritage being exposed globally as a reggae band. Now, uh, the Morgan Heritage Band, now, well, it's been around for some time, and believe me, we absolutely love it here at Galaxy. We get so many requests, not only for yourself, and of course we kick the show off with everybody, and I've got to thank you for that, believe me, we still get a lot of requests wanting to play yes. in, in the breakfast show. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the Morgan Heritage Band themselves have done a lot of work uh, with some very well-named people in the world in the reggae industry. And uh, namely, we're talking about the Marley family. Now, uh, you're quite familiar with a lot of the members of the Marley family. Oh, yeah. They are very close. My children and all the Marley kids have a very good relationship. And uh, I myself... I know that they have a lot of respect and love for me because I remind them so much of their father. I get that. I really, really do. Now, uh, at the same time, uh, and believe me, folks, we were talking about the medicinal uh, properties in marijuana uh, just before we went to air. And, of course, the engineers have come up with this. Smoke weed every day. Yeah, they seem to think it's a good idea as well. So, okay, we've done that. We're going to play. <laughs> uh, we're going to play reggae. Bring back love right now. Here is the Morgan Heritage Band. <laughs> Trust them. Production, you're funny. <laughs> you really are. Sorry. Absolute pleasure to have everybody joining us this morning. Wayne, love, love, love the uh, <laughs> the fire emoji. Hi, Gia. Hi, uh, Brian. Wayne Hi, Perry Brian. is back again. Nice to have you back again, brother man. It's really, really a pleasure to have you on board. Today we're talking uh, to the founding member, of course, the father of the Morgan Heritage family. And, of course, we're talking to Denroy Morgan, the man himself. Uh, and you're going to love this. Uh, Denroy, you're, you actually hail from Jamaica, don't you? Yes. It, you, you moved from Jamaica to uh, America? Yes, I moved from Jamaica to America in 1965. <laughs> I was only 19 years old. And at that time, my whole reason for coming to America was to create a better opportunity to have a better life for my family, a better education for my children. And thank God, it has turned out exactly so and even beyond my expectation. God bless America. Very, very cool. Uh, by the way, I want to let you know about something that we're involved with at the moment. Uh, we're involved with a guy called Franco, who is actually a, an Italian, uh, who's putting schools and hospitals into places like Africa and including Jamaica. 
He sent books. Then. Wonderful. He sent. I would love. I would love to participate in that project. Okay. I'll well, I tell you what. We'll get Franco. We'll get you in touch with Franco because believe me, he's an absolute wonderful, wonderful man. Everything's transparent. Uh, he's actually put books into libraries in Jamaica, hasn't he? Yeah, at the moment. Uh, so believe me, we. Uh, on a humanitarian thing, to be honest, my and, bro. And the sales from the CD go to the project. Yeah, uh, the, the CD is called Music for, for Love. Love. And, and believe me, go and check this out. Go and get yourself a copy. Every dollar goes into charity. Not one cent is yeah, taken by the foundation or anything. Sudan, Senegal. Wonderful. Yeah, and uh, we're, we're in places like the Sudan right now. Uh, and we're moving into India. places like India. And also Africa as well. We're, we're wanting to build yeah, schools, so. hospitals, libraries, see. you yeah. name it. We'll we want to do it. Uh, and we would be honoured if you would be a part of that as well, Denroy. I would be honoured to be a part of that. Lovely, All lovely. Right. Well, I'll get Barbara to uh, make the wheels turn, if you know what I mean, and get them in touch. Yes, um, Denroy's going to be in the magazine, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to that yeah. as well. Believe me. Um, Jay is going to put you in his magazine, I've heard. Okay, wonderful. That's brilliant. More exposure we can get because remember the Lord gave the word and great is the company of them that publish it. That in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. So the word we try to publish is the word that represents godliness in man. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today I'm joined uh, by, of course, Denroy Morgan, the very, very first member of the Heritage Family, the Morgan Heritage Family. And of course we're playing Reggae Bring Back Love uh, and Denroy, can you tell me a little bit about this track because it is an absolutely fascinating piece of work. Yes, this track remind me of a great work by a great producer, Bobby Digital, one of Jamaica's greatest producers up to date. Now, during this time, there was a lot of friction going on in Jamaica. There was a lot of discard and a lot of violence. And uh, the reggae boys were bringing an energy of love and unity, excitement and prosperity. So this song, Reggae Bring Back Love, was right on time to become a number one record in Jamaica for Morgan Heritage. Well, that I, I can uh, remember. Uh, I gotta let you know, and this is fascinating. Uh, talking of Franco, what do you know? Franco Nanucci is joining us. Believe me, we're going to get you guys talking. We really, really are. You're going to love, of course, our bishop. Yes, he's a bishop, Franco. Uh, we're talking about Denroy Morgan from Morgan Heritage. Uh, and uh, believe me, my bro, the man that we're talking about literally is on board right now watching us. So uh, I better be on my best behaviour, i tell you that. Uh, it is an absolute right. pleasure to have him on board. Now, Wonderful. Uh, now, Denroy, I want to talk about Love Stone because uh, this is with not only the Morgan Heritage, but Shaggy as well. Tell me about this. How did you get Shaggy on board? Well, Shaggy is also a close friend to the family. Yeah? He, Shaggy been a friend of the family for quite a while. You know, from the time of the Bombastic Man. Yes? From that time, we've been very close. And even on Graham's solo project, his latest solo project, which is also a Grammy-nominated album. Thank God I'm on it, and Graham's son, my grandson, Jamiri, is also on it. Shaggy is now still on it. Shows the relationship is a lasting one that we have with Shaggy. And India Irie also, a very famous R&B female artist. She's also on it. So with a Shaggy on it, with um, Benra Morgan on it, and Jamiri on it, and India Irie on it, I think Grams have a very good shot at winning the Grammy for this song. It is nominated and we give thanks to everyone and ask that everyone out there who can vote will vote for Grams' new album, 
Yerel is called positive vibration. There you go, believe me. And I'm looking forward to uh, uh, having a chat to you about that because, believe me, uh, it is an absolutely fascinating story. But in the meantime, here's the Morgan Heritage featuring Shaggy and Love Stone. <laughs> Um, General, yes, have, have we introduced you to um, Thornell Jones Jr.? Yes. No. Yes, yes, he did look him up, but um. He did look him up. I sent okay. him some music from Dean Boy, but I can follow that up. Again. Can you yeah. please? Uh, because uh, you you'll be interested in this. Thornell Jones Jr. is a multi award winning. Uh, Grammy Award member, and he's also a selector for the Grammys. Well, well, he helped with music uh, for love. Uh, let's encourage him to go and vote for Positive Vibration, Grams Morgan. Exactly, exactly. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Barbara to send him this interview later on this morning so that he can have a look at it as well, you know what I mean? Wonderful. I look forward to be able to speak to him. Yeah. You know, I just wanted to know that we try to keep positive vibration, good relationship with people on a whole. But when it comes to the musical industry, we try to have nothing but good energy with each and everyone because we are on the same mission. You know, Dan Roy, I'm right there with you. I believe that. I really do. And I really thank you for allowing me to call you a friend. Yes, sir. You are my friend. I love that, I really do, um, because I feel very honoured to have not only met you, uh, but to know you and to be able to do these interviews, I really do. Uh, having said that, believe me, go and have a look at Franco Nanucci's music for love, and every cent, believe me, goes to charity, it really does. We're trying to build schools in places like Africa, hospitals. And we're also trying to build the libraries and fill them with books, keep our future educated and looked after. Believe me, this is a project to get behind. And Galaxy is 100% behind it. We would love for you to be able to play your part and go and have a look. Buy a copy. Do that. You'll love it. You will. Yeah, that's like, that type of work is so needed today. For all the struggle and suffering that is all over the world, and there are so many that are millionaires and billionaires, and really don't see it fitting to do this type of work. So I applaud the brother who you say is spearheading this project. Looking Thank forward you. to meet him one day. Absolutely, absolutely. Donny Coulter is back again. Hello, Donny. Nice to have you back on board again, and. Uh, kind of hoping that you guys are going to have a very successful, happy and enjoyable festive season. They have a new track coming out. They do have January. a new track coming out. Yeah. I'm wondering if they're going to be doing any festivals over the oh, festivals. Well, we have to ask people. Yeah, I mean, I'm absolutely. Sure Stay warm too, by the way, Donnie. It's cold over there. <laughs> it really is. Uh, let's go back to the desk. The next one up, my friend, is A Man Is Still A Man. Yes, sir. Nice. You know, I have screeds and screeds and screeds of information about not only the Morgan heritage, uh, but also uh, Denroy Morgan as well. Uh, and you know something? The one thing I don't need is that, because I have the man himself. I have the relationship to be able to ask him almost anything, 
literally, and I know that he's going to give me a very honest answer about it. And you know something? I am very, very honoured to be called a friend by Bishop Denroy Morgan, coming out of Georgia in the United States. Now, uh, Denroy moved, of course, from Jamaica over to America and, and uh, moved for great purposes indeed. Uh, but at the meantime, why did you take your family back to Jamaica? Was it something that they needed to experience where you came from? Yes, definitely. And it was, it was, it was a divine mission because my children, Morgan Heritage, were born in America. And I was born in Jamaica. And my biggest, busy, biggest success musically is funk, R&B, dance music. And Morgan Heritage, biggest success musically is reggae music. So it's a mystical trade-off between Jamaica and America where my family and music is concerned. I never see it that way before I brought them there. But after bringing them there and see the outcome of it, I recognize just what I explained to you, that in the mystic, it was a trade-off, that what America gave to me as a Jamaican, they gave to my children as American. Yeah, I absolutely understand that. I really, really do. Now, uh, at the same time, i got to admit, uh, Denroy, there's a huge amount of talent coming out of Africa singing, of course, reggae music as well. Uh, and we need to give these people their props, especially uh, to our international ambassador over there, Marvin Portitu. He does such a great job for us. He really, really does. Uh, but there is so much... And might I say, it's a wealth of talent in Africa, and uh, we're getting there bit by bit by bit. And I know that Denroy's worked with a number of these artists over the years as well. He really, really has, uh, including, of course, Monique Styles, for instance. Uh, what a wonderful little lady she is. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Absolutely love Monique. We really, really do. Uh, now, at the same time, a man is still a man. Now, tell me about yeah. this, because believe me, well, you know, us men, we stick together. Of course a man is still a man, uh, but is this something that women need to register? I, I think both men and women need to register that. And what I mean by that, there's a lot of men rate other men based on their achievement in life, or based on their size. Uh, based on their, uh, their their looks. But regardless of how poor he is or how rich he is, how small or how big he is, if he's a man, he's still a man. And he is deserving, treated like a man. So I think it's for man to recognize that, man to man, and it's for women to recognize that as we go along in life. You know, Denroy, I absolutely love that as well. Uh, Got to let you know, uh, as far as wealth goes, I don't have a dollar to rub together, but I am the richest man in the world because I have <laughs> friends like Denroy Morgan. I really, really am. Here yes. at Galaxy, yes. uh, with my we, we are rich in love, my brother. There we are go. rich in love. Absolutely. We have enough love to give away. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm right there with you, my friend. Absolutely love it. Here, representing Morgan Heritage, is, of course, the man himself, Denroy Morgan, and a man is still a man. Yes, he is. Ooh, gosh, it's hot in here. What's the temperature then? The temperature here today, I think it was about 60-something degrees. Okay, okay. But it's falling down now as it gets in the night time. Yeah, it would do. It would do. Um, where are we here at the moment? Uh, 76 degrees at the moment. Yeah. We are in the 50s or 60s at the moment here. And we are... Well, we're back up to 30 degrees outside. Yeah. Gosh! Oof. 
she be warm. Thank you. It really Looking is. Looking forward to uh, um, Christmas. Can you send a photo? We have too, no? one more song Christmas coming up happy. called Light It Up. Hi, Becca. What, what's that song? We have one more song called Light, Light It Up. Light Let it, it up. up. Light It Up. Light It Up. Oh, Light It Up. Okay, okay. Marvin Heritage. Yes. Light It Up. Light up the spirit, light up the chalice. <laughs> light up the chalice. There you go, light my up friend. the souls of the people. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Becca Moss is joining us this morning as well. Nice to have Becca along. Um, nice to... Don't forget Gear. Oh, Gear's on board yeah. as well, is he? I didn't see him here, unfortunately. Uh, kia ora, bro. bro. Nice to have you on board. It really, really is. Oh, it's minus three and uh, where Donny is. Minus three where Donny is. No, thank you, Donny. Um, don't think we'd want to be a bar of that. It's too cold. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we get all upset and cry, baby, if it goes down to zero. We do. We do. Uh, so, unlike the people down the bottom of the South Island. Say good morning to Phyllis. She's tuned in. Good morning to Phyllis. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Really? Well, I mean, we've got the... Um, Royalty here. Today. We do. We've we got do. Royalty um, in the reggae world. Believe me, um, it is Phyllis Huia. Kia ora katoa, my friend. It is such a pleasure to have you on board today. We do have royalty. We do in the reggae world. We have Denroy Morgan with us. Uh, Phyllis, I'm going to send you a copy of his one of his songs. You will love it. You will. I'll get Terry to do it for you. Okay. But in the meantime, we better go back to the desk. folks how do you call this much fun work this is absolutely stunning love 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 denroy morgan and the morgan heritage band as well really really love this i do uh, now at the same time denroy uh, and we do have one more song to go uh, while this pandemic's going on right now it, are you guys still recording are you still uh, releasing new music yes. oh yeah Marvin Heritage is sitting on the Marvin Heritage is sitting on about two albums right now, completely just waiting on the right time for release. Grams just get nominated for a, a Grammy for his latest album, which is called Positive Vibration. And I have a brand new album to be released May 6th of next year called Divine Destiny. And this album of mine, I am very happy for the outcome of it. It's a lot of the things that I have in my heart and on my mind that I was able to put into this album, Divine Destiny, to be released next year, May. So yes, to answer your question, we are continuously working and creating new music. So therefore, and I take it that maybe, just maybe, my friend, you'll come back again, you'll release new music with us in the near future. What do you reckon? I look forward for that because... Galaxy FM has been very good to me and the work that I've been doing with the African artists, the Latitude and the, the Monique Styles and so forth, the, the, the melodies. 
These are guys that Marvin bring to my table, and we have been enjoying our musical meal as a family. I never met them in person, but the work we have done together is like we have always been together. You know, I got to be able to say the same thing. Believe me, Monique Styles, uh, Marvin Forty Two, love that guy, really, really do. And of course, the latitudes, the uh, uh, the melody Ugandas as well. Thank Such God. talented people, they really, really are. Uh, that we yes. absolutely want to send love, 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 bless to you guys, and. Uh, Take care over the festive season. See you again, 2022. We know you're going to come back and come and say hello. We do. Yes. Uh, now, having said... I am, I am more than willing. I'm looking forward to it. It's a pleasure and an honor. Galaxy FM, number one in our book. Very cool, my friend. Thank you very, very much for that. Now, one last track before we uh, wrap this up. Light it up. Tell me about that. I'm sure this is about a blunt. Tell you about what? <laughs> light it up. Light it up. Okay, well, light it up is one of the songs that we think will motivate the herb smokers. We don't believe in cigarette smoking. We don't believe in tobacco. So when we're going to light it up, we're going to light up the ganja. Light up the ganja, the marijuana. And in lighting it up, we want to light up the spirit of each and every one to bring them to positive vibration. Ja Rastafari. That is the energy that is in Light It Up. You listen to the lyrics and uplift yourself, but feel the energy and enjoy yourself. You know, Denroy, when we get you down here in New Zealand, not only yourself, but the Morgan Heritage Band as well, I can just smell it happening now. I love that. I really do. <laughs> Here in Gal at Galaxy is my uh, Roy Morgan and the Morgan Heritage featuring Joe Mercer Marley. Yes, light it up. Light it up. <laughs> Gosh, it's hot in the air. <laughs> it really is very, very hot. Oh, yeah. Frankly, you have a whole family already waiting for you in Africa, Jamaica and India. And he's like, Isn't it just amazing? You're right. I'm watching you, watching me, watching you, watching, <laughs> watching Barbara talk to everybody. <laughs> That's the fire, right? Oh, dear, dear, dear. So, um, after we wrap this up, Denroy, and, and thank you so much. Thank you for thank you. coming so, out. Um, the, the Joe Marley, that's one of the Marley boys. It is one of the Marley boys, yes, yeah, well, absolutely. Don't forget uh, Franco's um, been chatting to the Marleys as Yes, well. Franco I mean, is. So a family to be made, I think, yeah. all of them. Fra Franco knows the Marleys as well, if you know what I mean. So, uh, yes. you, you guys have got a lot to talk about. Yeah. I think one of his grandson is featured on that song, Jamersa, Stephen's son. Yes, yeah, uh, Jamersa Marley, yes, absolutely. Um, now, at the same time, my friend, I am really, really excited for the release of your new album as well. I, I really would love a copy of that to be able to, uh, uh, to saturate the old brain cell with. You know what I mean? Definitely, I will make sure it gets to you. You like it in uh, MP3 or Wave? Uh, MP3. Okay, no problem. Awesome, awesome. And I'll tell you what, if you want to give me a couple more of those uh, voice drops with some of your more popular work off that, so that we can play it here, we would be on it. Oh, here's the okay. best, nearly the yeah, best voice okay. I love it. The one with uh, everybody, um, work it. We, <laughs> that resonated that's, that's with That's the Make My Day album. I see you've already gotten into that one. Oh, yeah. But I have also one that is called I'll Do Anything For You. Okay. You can check that one out. I'll, I'll get production onto that. Uh, believe me, yes, I really will. I, I'll Do Anything For You. Check that album out. I and that. I look forward to hear what are the tracks you like on it. I, I tell you what, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'll have to get production. Can we get production onto yeah. that, please? Mm -hmm. Yep, thank you. 
thank you. Oh gosh, I'm melting in here. And we're not even, well we are, we are oh, just right. basically melting. into summer now. We've only just hit summer. So I think, okay. I think we're going to have a wicked summer this year, I do. Dry, hot, and Santa's going to wear a thong. <laughs> Oh dear, dear, dear. That's not nice, is it? Can you see Santa in a thong? Couldn't see you in one either. Oh, you, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not go there. What do you reckon, Donnie and Gail? It'd have to be pink. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Let's go back to the desk. <laughs> Remember the song Johnny Life That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today I'm joined by Bishop Reverend, yes he is, uh, Denroy Morgan and we're discussing the Morgan Heritage family. Now believe me, they have a plethora of music out there. Go and have a look, you can't say that you will ever be disappointed with classic, absolute brilliant music like this. Go and check it out. Believe me, you'll love it. You really, really are. Uh, Denroy, I am so, so thankful for you to be able to make this interview. It is an absolute pleasure to catch up with you again. Uh, now, do you have plans for uh, the festives? Are you going to be doing any shows over the uh, festive season? Yeah. Uh, uh, my son is going to Kenya tomorrow. He's going down there to do some kind of promotion for his Grammy-nominated album. And uh, the group is planning to be in Africa, maybe about 10 to 20 countries in the January, February period. So that's on the table right now. Well, I, I wish you guys all the luck. I know there's going to be sellout shows everywhere you go. Merv Penny is joining us. Kia ora katoa, my friend. Uh, New Zealand artist Merv Penny. Absolutely love you, my friend. We really do. Now, having said that, would be very, very honoured to be able to catch up with you in the new year. So what I'm going to say to you, Denroy, is please, please, please stay safe. Yes. Have a very happy... Happy, happy Thank Christmas. You. Have a very, very enjoyable New Year's and looking forward to catching up with you again 2022. Will you come back again? Yes, I am always willing to come to Galaxy. Where well, you are, Barbara. Thank you for having me. Thank you for the support you have been giving me for the collaboration that I've done with African youths. And thank you for the support you've given me with my children, Morgan Heritage, even at this time. So I invite you to see Grams in Kenya if you are listening and see the heritage between January and February in Africa, whichever country they are. We're looking forward and my album, Divine Destiny, to be released in May. We look forward for your support. You know, my friend, we are 100% beside you on that. We really, really are. We're not ahead of you. We're not behind you. We're right beside you. We really, really I are. love it. I love it. Thank you. Stay safe, my friend. Don't go anywhere just yet. We're going to do a couple of crazy things right now. But in the meantime, let's switch over to the other studio. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Today, we were joined by Bishop Denroy Morgan. And we were discussing the Morgan Heritage Band. Absolutely stunning. Go and check them out on the interweb. Have a very happy and successful day. And we'll catch you up again on Friday. Very, very interesting day on Friday. See you then. Thank you.